Sometimes in a laboratory or during the test, you are asked to choose a compound to deprotonate a certain molecule. And so the way this works is you have to choose something. So hypothetically, you can put B as the base with a charge or not, doesn't matter. You can just put a lone pair, but let's say put a charge. And so when this reacts with a compound, it will produce a conjugate acid of it, right? So this will have now BH, and this H will be coming from here. So the base will deprotonate this compound and get a conjugate acid of this base. So to do this, first of all, you want to write down the pKa value. So here the pKa of this alcohol, let's put 16 or 18, it's the butanol. So let's put 18. And um, the key in this reaction is to remember that acid-base reactions are shifted towards the site of a higher pKa value, meaning that a weaker base. So what we want is to shift this equilibrium to the right side. Remember, acid-base reactions are in equilibrium. And so we want this to be shifted here. In other words, we want something here as an acid, which is the conjugate acid of the base that we have used, to have a pKa that is larger than 18. And the conjugate bases of amines are usually very strong bases. And in this case, we could have, for example, used the conjugate base of the ethyl amine minus, and in the product side, we're going to get NH2. So it's going to deprotonate it. So attacking here, putting the proton here, and getting NH2. And the pKa of the amine, so this is about 38. So what we have is going from pKa 18 to 38, and definitely this reaction will be possible because the equilibrium is shifted to the right. Of course, this is not the only option. There will be a lot of compounds that will match this. For example, any organometallics, organolithiums, they'll definitely be possible to use to deprotonate the alcohol, but this is just as an example.